Hey people, this video you're about to watch is a good way of showing how no two days are the same when you have <clears throat> an anxiety problem or a problem with panic or in my case agoraphobia. Um, it just goes to show people seem to think that if you do something one day, well that's it, that you can do it you're fine, what's the problem? You went to the X spot and you were fine and you got home, that means that you can now go to X spot. No, it doesn't always work like that because, I mean, nobody's life is the same every day. But for me, I know I am so changeable and I can wake up and almost before I've even done anything, been anywhere, stepped out of the bed, I can just feel anxiety for no apparent reason and um, yeah that's why I wanted to show this video is to show that on one occasion I did something and it went great I did it again the very next day not so great so yeah I hope you can relate enjoy so anyway, today is a new day and I've set myself the task of going to the gym. Now the gym from me, from my house, is literally barely even a five minute walk. I'm going to take the car. <clears throat> I've been a member of this gym now for about five, maybe even a little bit more weeks and I haven't been once. I've been putting it off and putting it off. In my defense, I have been very, very busy at home, but you should be able to make time to go. And so I thought, right, today I'm gonna go. I've got uh, my follow-up appointment with, with the guy that did the induction. I've got the follow-up tomorrow. And I'm gonna have to tell him I've been once, providing I go today. Maybe I'll fit in another session tomorrow, but Anywho, you can see the difference in me. I'm rubbing my leg. I'm, you know, the anticipatory anxiety is building. My heart rate is up. And, um, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, well then, I shall show you what I completed today. I'm shaking a little bit because I've worked hard. Okay, tick, 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 did all of those, and I did that one, I did rowing, doesn't like my fingers, rowing, I did you rowing, come on, rowing, I did, mark is completed, okay, and I did my crunches on the ball. Oh, the mark is completed. I didn't realise this was such a fad or I wouldn't have bothered videoing it. Anyway, you get the idea. I did everything. This is the face of success. Walking away from the gym after a complete session, no meds, no panic. So I went back and I finished my workout. So 
I should feel really pleased with myself for having um, not given in to the panic. I still just feel that, I don't know, that gutted feeling that it reared its head and shit the life out of me like it always does. Each time is like the first time and all you want to do is run. And um, Yeah, I tried to sort of, I don't know, show you just what a wreck I was. It just doesn't, you can't, you can't see on, on camera. I was, my heart was going so fast and um, I was just shaking, um, I needed a poo <laughs> and there was, there was a woman cleaning the toilet so I was just standing in that cubicle like, oh god. So yeah, I mean it's a success because I stuck it out and I, I mean there's only one item, one thing that I left off of my workout and it wasn't because I was trying to avoid it, it was because I forgot to do it and it wasn't until I logged out that I saw that I'd missed one, one machine but still, I, I knew from the minute I left I didn't want to go to the gym so I was expecting bad things, maybe I cursed myself, I don't know, <laughs> but um, I suppose I can't expect every day to be as successful as my trip was yesterday but yeah I survived now I'm going home for a shower and I'm going to try not to dwell on anything negative try and look at the, the positive side of things so yeah that was today <laughs>